mouse is really dragging it. <clears throat> I have 55 in the morning. It's January 12th, 2023. Here we go. See, California. Yada, yada, yada. It's depression. Kicked in hard. Besides the mood swings I've had yesterday. The day before. Decisions I made concerning about my dog's health and welfare. <coughs> Still based on lack of information I needed in order to complete this damn thing. But also, I'm, I'm second-guessing myself entirely at this point. Because I've done a lot of stupids. But I still had to psychoanalyze my own damn self anyway. It's not even funny. We live in a world with everybody else losing their fucking minds. You got the crazies and non-crazies and you can't tell the difference between them. Dress, style, act, manner, speech, gait. All I'm doing right now is tearing myself apart. Sometimes I wonder if I was losing my mind. I know that depression has gotten a hold of me a great deal at times, and today's no exception. Today is definitely not the exception for it. Oh, my dog is alright. My dog is safe. Still got a rent over. Still got a roof over the head. Bill's coming up. It still needs to be paid. Usual stuff to drive a sane man, sane man crazy every month. <sighs> to live, he must pay. And pay and pay and pay. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what goes on in the heart and the head at the same time and how screwed up that is. Especially when decisions are made. And sometimes I'm not sure if I'm making the right decision or not. <laughs> sometimes I have to go with my gut and other times I'm with my head. I thought I made the wrong decision at this point over here, but somehow it feels unusually right. I don't know why. I remember when I went last year back to college, back to the campus, back to ABC. You know, I thought it was going back to a place I recognized, and I'd, I recognized most of the buildings, but as I was trying to say a lot, long while ago in a lot of videos and a lot of audio recordings that I didn't feel it. <coughs> I didn't feel like I was home anymore. <clears throat> I feel like it was just a place to go to. It's like living in a different area that I just, you know, it's not dealing with a damn bug war, damn roaches all over the place, flying around all over the place. These youngers don't know their ass from a hot rock. I hate squishing these little bastards. I know, topic change on this one. But this is a reality thing. I have to deal with many things at the same damn time. I know when I drive myself crazy. What gets to me? It's decisions I had to make this year. As I said before, I was trying to say it before, before I got interrupted by a damn bug walked on the campus and for about 16 nearly 18 weeks 16 weeks actually I didn't feel comfortable enough I know COVID does, to a, does that to a person and everything else does that to a person not to mention the own baggage he carries in his head and his heart you could do that to a person and it's done that to me stayed here and marinated while going to classes online passed them but still have done better. Get on the campus and I felt like I was an alienated. 
like I was no longer home. Maybe it was the news that I was going to be graduating as soon as if I pursued one particular goal, that two classes would have been it, and then I would be out of there. Or maybe three other four, if I happened to pick another one or another one. I was just wanted to ride to continue that way. But I decided this year I was just going to get the AA degree and let's see what happens afterwards if I qualify to go on to the BA transfer program. But still feel like I accomplished something and I screwed that up because I didn't like some of the things I was running into. But also some information concerning about a damn bug war and it was driving me nuts. I didn't want anything to happen to my dog. I didn't have any other place for her to be taken to and the day that I'm going to school or would be going, going to class she would have been here during a spraying here that probably would have affected her health and I couldn't do that so I had to take the semester off again I fight these sorry sons of bitches and I feel like I cheated myself I feel like I've screwed things up so damn badly I wanted to kick myself in the ass. Part of me still tries to tell me that this was all right. And I don't buy it. But even if I happened to got into campus, would I still felt the same way as in being alienated? As in a no longer fit? A no longer... I no longer am part of it. I felt like I screwed things up. I was turning myself apart left and right, not to mention getting triggered left and right. I watch different things on the internet and don't even realize it or read something innocuous, but I know there are certain subjects out there that have widespread meaning and implications that cause me to lose myself again. Cry like crazy. Be an absolute insane person, I guess. Not saying like chattering to himself and, and Looking at people very strange or very weirdly or anything else like that. <sighs> Try this one. I haven't had a haircut in almost two years. I need one. I haven't had one in a hell of a long while. <sighs> I haven't got used to this damn thing. I wanted to get rid of it. Uh, hair's falling out like crazy. I know, totally random subjects and totally random things to talk about, isn't it? Try to avoid the subject matter like crazy, and what happens? You bounce from place to place to place. Subject matter to subject matter. No, I'm not on any medications. I haven't talked to any doctors about it. Just tried to talk to therapists and haven't scheduled another one. It's been overdue. Surprised I have, haven't had anybody to reach out to me on this. But I got to reach out to the insurance plan for it. Got to help me out with a damn bug situation or worrying about my dog. Little mamas. She wants me to go out all day with her. Some days she can walk in, another day she can lay down, and another day she's walking. Walking me to and from different places, almost the same damn place that she's comfortable with. I'm not. I'm not. But I do it to humor her. I'm not even humoring myself. I get triggered. I feel. The crying sessions kick in, and then it's the depression that kicks in like crazy. And I, I feel so damn depressed. Uh, binge watching TV shows, 
some of them will trigger me like like crazy and don't even realize it until something happens so like an initiator and then I'm off, or an activator as I call them I don't know something innocuous something innocent something going to suspect and then bam crying again an emotional wreck that's what I am that's what I am I don't get it I don't get myself anymore I don't get me at all watching shows concerning about psychosis and psychology and people going nuts and those are only on the crime shows I'm watching FBI one of those shows NCIS was FBI watching something about conspiracy theories a kidnapper a murderer and crazy woman trying to find answers about her daughter going to jail because she murdered it's the latest uh, FBI episode you got on here right now I got hooked into the damn thing I feel lousy, that's how I feel. Talking about the school situation, if it was all right for me to take another semester off. Seems like I had to write a pleading letter over to the campus and I think I was a nut job over that. How do I tell him that I'm still having issues at this point regarding what I'm going through? I don't know, they'll probably blame COVID for it, but I had it before the damn COVID kicked in. I still was grieving over my mother. It'll be 10 years coming February. 10 years? Dave? It'll be four or five years. It just felt like it was yesterday. At least with him. At least with him. I was writing something for creativity for Christmas. Thought it might be fun. I thought I could get myself into it. I can't get myself out of this damn fucking depressional funk right now that I can't even think straight. My juices are not there. Either there or tonight. I'm too damn afraid of things. I can't understand what's going on with me. I don't understand it at all. It's not that I'm trying to kill myself or anybody else for that matter. Oh, I stay out of people's way. I stay out of, stay out of their lives. But I know probably some people will think eventually I'll be croaking without them realizing it. Yeah, I thought of the idea. Too many damn times I thought of the idea. I thought of just saying to hell with it. I did. I wanted to just not be there, you know. Just mentally lose myself and that's about it. And... I am losing my mind, I think. My heart's screwed up, I know that. I'm not talking about the physical heart, even though I may be screwed up. It scares me. It scares me in the middle of the night that I'll be waking up, or even the thought of it, just by feeling maybe intense pain or pressure. Sometimes I'd feel a little bit of it in my heart. And I'd wait for the pulse to die down, and it hasn't. Or, afraid of the arterial fibrillation, they call it. Rapid heartbeat. Rapid pulse. 
screwed up breath. I'm sleeping with a CPAP machine that forces oxygen down my throat as long as I'm, uh, but it's gently putting the oxygen in my throat. It's not hard, constant pressure. It's a gentle pressure based off of a home study I did regarding my health. I'm afraid of me. I'm afraid of me. All right. I'm. Easy enough for me to go crazy at this point over here, rubbing my head and just saying, leave me the hell alone and just hide somewhere and curl up. And frankly, I haven't done that. I have to keep talking about these things on recordings. I have to keep doing videos on this damn thing. I have to keep making journal notes about this damn thing because I don't know what else to do. I really don't. I know I'm affected a lot about things that are happening around me that I have no control over. Or not supposed to have any control over. And I'm tearing myself apart on this. I'm tearing me apart on this. I'm afraid. Alright? I'm afraid. I'm scared that I might do or say the wrong thing and it'll piss somebody else off. Then what do I do? I'm afraid I'll... I feel like I am emotionally broken down and not like I used to be, like almost an emotional twig, not feeling in a damn thing, but just going through things. But I did love my family a great deal. I loved my brother and I loved my mother a great deal. And nearly every single day I would get triggered, but in the days I didn't get triggered, in the days I didn't feel like I'm going to be crying like crazy or feeling it getting exposed to the to the trigger word or, or a few other trigger words that actually have wide implications to them in all sorts, no matter what. I get triggered, weak eyed oh, screw the weak eyed I'm tearing myself apart and praying that God forgive me because I'm being a, I don't know what the hell I'm being at that point. And it seems like Sometimes, yeah, I do get a thought or two. Just one of those thoughts that would raise some sniffer alert out there with professionals thinking, well, this guy's ready for the nut farm, but we haven't got enough beds or stray jackets for this guy. There's not enough room out there. We'll kick him out in the streets. Well, I'm not going there, thank you very much. I've already got enough issues as it is. I don't want to be incarcerated. Just because I'm going through a hell of a lot of emotional issues, thank you very much. Go fuck yourselves. I'm trying to do the best I can for right now, and I'm kicking myself in the ass on this shit. I'll cry myself to sleep if I have to. I'll cry and sob like crazy if I have to. Whine and, and howl and... and I'm not taking drugs or any other liquids or anything else for this damn shit. I have to get through this on my own. I guess I don't trust anybody else, or even the so-called people or friends. Images that you see on screens don't help you much either, except how to trigger your ass. And the illusion of it falling for characters like that. They're just characters, actors portraying. You fall in love with the characters, you go and sing with the characters, and then you can't tell what reality is anymore. I know I've been there. I don't like it. They're not coming out through magic portals or anything else just to save your ass. I discovered that the hard way too many damn times. 
Pray for a miracle. Pray for one of them to come through and I'll be saved. I have a lovely notion right there how to put yourself into a mental straitjacket, that's for sure. I'm trying. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to talk about things like this because it's important. At least to me it is. And even if I happen to get into a situation where I'm not going to be on this earth physically, yeah, it's a hell of a way for me to say it, isn't it? Because that triggers people. That scares the hell out of them, doesn't it? To talk about death, to talk about suicide, to talk about, oh, potential life-threatening or life-ending things that you're not supposed to do because they're taboo. I've been through a hell of a lot in my life. But if you're going to think I'm going to be going out and following different pathways that are going to be leading up to death, destruction, or incarceration, screw you. And a damn thought. I have to stare this damn thing down. I have to battle this damn thing from within. I have to. It's a constant war. It's bad enough I have physical manifestations of bugs around all over me. Literally. Crawling on a rooftop. Sometimes sleeping in my damn bed. I have to keep swiping them out. It doesn't matter how many traps or how much chemicals. They keep coming back. And i got to deal with the reality extension of that. Plus the fact my own damn soul, my own damn brain are still screwed up left and right. I have to keep praying and pleading for a spiritual help on this. And I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of it. I'm getting scared. It shook my confidence at this point over here where I couldn't even make a damn decision of whether or not my dog was going to be safe and I'm going to be continuing the academia and I decided my dog was life was a hell of a lot better than mine and I get the information f from a chemical guy from Orkin calls himself the Ant-Man yeah I thought he was a kid no he's just about almost a 40 year old looked like a damn kid he's telling me how spry and how rare and he'd been through this and he'd been through that nice but he hasn't been through the shit I've been through he hasn't been through it emotionally he hasn't been through a hell of a lot so maybe he's got a lot more fortitude a lot more recovery more resilience to it maybe he didn't have the damn baggage starting up a hell of a long while ago he didn't die and come back to life and had to struggle with life and everything else being afraid of life being afraid of death being afraid of spirituality and when I carried it a few times I guess maybe I still couldn't even comprehend it. Several times I could have died and never died, and I didn't. Somebody still likes me, or the universe still likes me. I don't know if I'm trying to do any kind of doctor or anything else saying I'm blame or angry at the world. I'm too damn heartbroken right now, is it his? I am too damn ashamed. Some of the shit may not even be suitable for v for YouTube viewing, and I don't give a shit. Probably won't put it on there. But I'm not going to delete it anyway. I'll probably save it and bury it alive like the worm it is. Or maybe just post it out there. Unlisted. I don't want to do these things. I don't want to start thinking about this shit. I hate being trapped, sometimes not physically, but also spiritually, where I am so devastated I can't get past it on some days. And other days I can try getting past it, and I don't know what the hell's going on with me anymore. I don't. Everyone else probably has a different idea of how they want to live life. Let them. 
I'm still struggling with mine. I'm still struggling with mine day by day, sometimes a minute by a minute. And I feel like I failed so many damn levels and I haven't lived up to a potential. I haven't lived up to a golden rule or some kind of plateau. I'm just struggling. I'm struggling. And all I want to do is break down right now. Not on camera, but off camera. And just tear myself apart. That's how I'm feeling right now. Not being grateful for some of the, or for all the blessings that I've been given. I am not sure of the question of what the universe would be asking me. What do I want? I am too screwed up in the head and the heart to respond to it. At least for right now. All I know is I have a hell of a lot of pain I have to sort through. And a hell of a lot of grief. And a hell of a lot of crap going on inside my head. And the decisions I'm making are having results I didn't want. I don't know if I would have been comfortable going back to college this semester. I wanted to graduate. I wanted to place my family, but you know, just to tell me that despite all the damn setbacks I've had, I made it. I don't care if it's the lowest rung at a college level. It's like, hey, it's like, what the hell is that? For me, I'm sorry, I'm not an academic whiz kid. I should have been up there a long time ago. I wasn't. I feel like I wasn't. Never thought I was all that intelligent. I never did think I was all that smart. I just knew what I knew because I read and listened. And sometimes I thought differently about it. I'm struggling with what I've got day by day right now as it is. I'm not going to force people to think about anything else. I don't want that. I'm trying to deal with my own life struggling. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a nice vacation on a, on a, a cruise boat again. A week or two of memories. Uh, venture in an amusement park again. Uh, more memories. Without feeling strapped that my family should have been here and, and I have to be going through that. You know, it would have been nice if I actually had the money in and get off my dead ass and get it done. Money never solves anything except for me giving the opportunity of getting adventures or something like that. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not trying greedy, that's for sure. I'm just trying to think of things. A long time ago, I wanted to be a, a famous writer and write well like the other authors I, was, I read with all their imagery and their, fascin their fascinations and imaginings and reading those works I felt like I was part of the world I could parse myself into their realm and feel part of it I can't even do that these days oh I could try to swing a mean essay every once in a great while but I'm not feeling it today At least not yet. I have to write these things out. I have to. Actually, these are my writings. These recordings. These are important. These are my journals. These are me. And you know what? There's something wrong with crying. Except it's embarrassing as hell. Embarrassing as hell. 